Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I am bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style or your budget, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's get into today's festive project, a cozy and glam fur vest. All right, so I do have a couple of examples of ready to wear inspiration that all are the same but different, depending on how much time and energy you wanna put into your faux fur vest. This one from Anthropology is the simplest. Um, coming in at $148, it is a polyester open front vest, and that's the only description that we are going to get. I guess it is what it is. <laughs> um, so you can see, similar to the one that I'm wearing in the introduction of this video, it is just a simple neckline, um, but this is the simplest of all the versions. And then we have your kind of Sherpa. And the only difference between this and the Anthropology one is that this has a grown on collar and it has a zip front. But this will give you an idea if you did pick a low pile fur uh, that you could do something like this. It has an actual collar on it. I, oh, and this one, if you're curious, came, comes from Talbot's. Originally 189, marked down to 140. Sleeveless, hits at hip, front zip closure, front welt pockets. Uh, again, I don't think we're going to be doing any front welt pockets in fur. If you want to do side seam pockets, you could absolutely do that, though. Um, and then the third ready to wear inspiration comes from this place called Generation Love. This is their Rosario faux fur vest. Again, it has the kind of grown on collar situation. This one is high hip length, uh, polyester lined, regular fit, two functional side seam pockets. So similar to the one that I just showed, but shorter and puffier and like, you know, floofier of a fur. Um, pattern wise, we do have two options. Um, this one, Simplicity 8218, I want you to look at this guy here. Now, this does have the grown on collar. It also has a closure, like it crosses over and then closed, I think with a snap. Made for fur, fully lined, I'm sure. Watch this video that's not linked to anything with sewing for faux fur. Don't you worry, I've got us covered on that. Um, so let's take a look real quick. So this one I feel like is a little bit more like the third one that we looked at. She's a little bit more chic. I think it's a hook and eye actually that has it closing. If you're a little bit more refined, if you're a little bit more polished, if your style is just a little bit more elevated, I think this version for you in a low pile fur would be exceptional. You could do this in a fuzzy fur as well. It would just look a little bit more casual, a little bit more undone, a little bit more messy. Anyways, so this is their, what are we doing? D, they're suggesting a low pile fur. Okay. Um, and then 4D, one large fur hook and eye and one snap. So that is how it is closing. So that's also important if you're somebody that lives in an area where when you wear this, it's really windy or, you know, it's just cold and you want to have it actually close up on your chest. For everybody else, we can look at Butterick, um, Butterick what? 6745, okay? And then upon first glance, you're looking at this and you're thinking, how is that even gonna be remotely close to something I wanna wear? But thankfully, they provided this one as well, View E, that gives you a better, a bit better of an idea of what it could look like in faux fur. I do think this, the sleet, the shoulder length is a little bit long. It's giving like quarterback, pad football pad vibes you could lay this part of b over e and then copy the arm opening from there i think you would get something a little bit more like what c looks like in terms of the shoulder so maybe somewhere in between those two would be good and then back of the envelope we're looking for fake fake fur they call it now they're not even going as chic as calling it faux fur uh just fake fur <laughs> um and then this is all the sizes in one, extra small to 2X. And you might need for vest E, 
up to two yards and it is fully lined, which is why you have the same amount of yardage for your lining. And if you're wondering how come it's the same amount, even though 45 inches is not the same as 60 inches, it's because you could make vest E out of 45 inch wide self fabric. You just can't find fur that comes in that width. Like fur doesn't come in 45 inch width. It only comes in like 58 or 60. You know what I mean? Okay, and then no uh, notions. No notions for view E. So again, super, super simple. Um, if you wanted to make this a, more of a crew neck, again, you're going to kind of lay view D over view E and you can mimic that. But I kind of like the open um, V neck. Mine has kind of a V, I think. I think I did a V, yeah. Um, just because I like a more open decolletelle or whatever it's called. Okay, so those are your patterns. We also have fabric. You can find faux fur lots and lots of places these days, but in my opinion, if you have a Joanne nearby, just go get it from there. It's just as good as anybody else's. That's where the fur I got that I'm wearing, that's where it's from. It's from Joanne. Um, I mean, just so, so, so many options, so many colors, so many different piles. So find the style that looks that looks good to you. Um, if you want to do something that's super, super furry or not, this is the one I have, Snow Leopard. Um, it is, I would say, a shorter pile. Not as short as Sherpa, but not as long as, you know, Grizzly Bear. Somewhere in between. Um, the Rabbit Fur is really nice. It feels really good. All of these are, of course, plastic. Like, I, they're not real fur. Um, the backings are plastic, the fur is plastic, all of that. But they do have so, so, so many options for you to choose from in a ton of different colors, a um, ton of different piles, ton of different designs. Um, so you can just pick the one that works for you. I also want to direct your attention to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Shameless plug here. I have two videos that deal with, or actually I have three that deal with fur. I have this 11 tips for sewing with faux fur so you can get some ideas for how to cut it how to sew with it all of that you can also see my pattern review of this fur coat that i made um simplicity 8741 and then i also more recently this year did a tutorial for how to use the free faux fur vest from mood um this is more of like a it's not one of their patterns like you like you probably know when you buy patterns from or download patterns from mood it's kind of more like a tutorial and the tutorial wasn't very well done i made some changes to it and so i thought i would record this video to show people how to take that tutorial and then actually make a garment that looks and feels right so you can go see all three of these i will link them in the description box for you but with that information, you're armed for making your own faux fur vest. As we round out the last few days of this series, I wanted to give you guys an idea for an easy and quick piece of outerwear. Depending on where you live, this could be all you need to stay warm at your holiday event. And depending on how you style it, it could easily be dressed up or dressed down depending on the party's vibe. They are actually pretty affordable too, especially because faux fur is so readily available and the pattern is super easy. So let's check out the options that I found. All right, thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this fun faux fur vest sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a fun and festive sparkly t-shirt. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.